Hello, my name is Peter Walker Birch with the first video podcast for Technical Placement One in 2016. I sincerely hope that you are all very well and have had uh, a very good start to your first few weeks in the clinical practice setting as student radiographers. Now, I wanted to wish you all the very best of luck on this tremendously exciting journey that you've all started. Being honest with you, um, this journey is going to be tough and tiring at times, um, especially during the first few weeks. Some of you uh, are going to be shattered at the end of the day and may be reluctant to do anything but collapse in front of the television or go straight to bed. This is all very normal. That said, I sincerely hope that you are beginning to settle into your uh, placement and are enjoying the privilege of working as a student radiographer and x-raying patients. I wanted to draw your attention to the activities in the module guide. As I mentioned at the start of the module, we have planned a number of activities for you to complete. The idea behind them is to give you some focus and to help you to get the most out of your experience in the clinical practice setting. This, in turn, has the advantage uh, of better preparing you for the tripartite assessment too. Now, whilst these activities are not compulsory, experience suggests that those people that do engage with at least some of the activities do really well in the tripartite assessments. Some of you will already have organised your first bipartite session with your mentors. You normally have your first bipartite with your mentor at around week four of your placements, where your mentor will meet up with you to complete a formative feedback sheet. The bipartite allows your mentor to provide you with constructive feedback on your progress so far. This process will help to identify areas of strengths, as well as areas where you may be struggling to achieve the placement outcomes. This will act as a springboard to develop your personal objectives or put in place an appropriate action plan to help achieve the placement outcomes. Remember there are a wide variety of things you can use to evidence your progress in the practice setting. For more information, take a look at page 35 to 36 of the clinical documentation that is available on the MSc programme site. This will give you a better idea of the kinds of evidence that you can use. If you have any queries about this at all, please feel free to drop me an email or a tweet. Your visiting lecturer, who is also your personal tutor, should soon be contacting your clinical coordinator to arrange to see you, if they haven't already done so. The aim of these visits is to touch base with you all and see how you are settling into placement. If there are any concerns, problems or other issues that may need addressing, your visiting lecturer can help to find ways of overcoming them. The visiting lecturer is also interested in how your portfolio is progressing. Now remember that as part of the program here, you are required to develop a clinical portfolio. These portfolios will help you to assess your current level of knowledge and skills, as well as identifying your personal development needs. Now, in order to do this, it is important to accumulate evidence that you can include in your portfolio. Your visiting lecturer will be more than happy to review your portfolio with you and make comments and suggestions on what to include. So please remember to bring your portfolio along with you uh, when your visiting lecturer makes a visit. Within the medical imaging team, we have adopted an on-call rota for academic support during the summer as this is the start of the season where people start to take their annual leave and engage with research and scholarly activities. Rest assured, there will always be an academic member of staff available throughout your clinical placement. Yours truly will be carrying the phone this week and next week, followed by other members of the medical imaging team. If you have any urgent issues that need to be addressed, please ensure that you call the on-call phone on 0752-813-3964. I have placed a copy of the rotor at the top of the learning materials section of the Blackboard site for Clinical Placement 1. Now, over the last couple of years or so, I have developed a number of video quizzes 
that you might find useful to help you to prepare for your tripartite assessment. These quizzes are based on a number of popular TV shows. They are very much work in progress and I hope to be further developing and enhancing this material over the coming weeks. That said, I am going to give you access to all these quizzes via Blackboard so that you can start to engage with them. You will find within the learning materials section on Blackboard for Clinical Placement 1 two folders in which I have placed the quiz material. Now the first folder contains the links to the videos themselves with some blank answer sheets. The second folder contains all the answers for the quizzes. Now the quizzes themselves focus on various aspects of the tripartite from clinical terminology via blockbusters and countdown, just a question of requests via deal or no deal, alternative projections and imaging via university challenge, as well as radiation protection via the crystal maze. I sincerely hope that you enjoy the quizzes and that you find them useful. In addition to these podcasts, I just wanted to remind you that I did release other activities and resources for you to engage with during the taught elements of Clinical Placement 1 to help focus your studies. These activities related to the very important area of radiographic anatomy. You may recall that you were given some images that you could label up to help you revise your radiographic anatomy. For a wide range of radiographic examinations uh, pertinent to your first clinical placement. Now at the end of the placement you should be able to accurately and confidently articulate this radiographic anatomy from memory. I also wanted to share with you an inspirational video uh, by Dr Kate Granger, now an MBE, who is responsible for the Hello My Name Is campaign. Now this campaign highlights how important it is to introduce yourself to the patient, making a human connection uh, between one human being who is suffering and vulnerable and another human being who wishes to help. Now this video really drives home the importance of uh, the campaign and the little things that you can do as a student radiographer to improve the experience of your patients by treating them as human beings. I sincerely hope that this video will encourage you all to introduce yourselves to the patient and set a high standard of care to all those people around you, some of whom may not have yet received the message. In fact, why don't you all send me a picture of yourselves, a selfie supporting the Hello My Name Is campaign that I can then tweet and incorporate into a future video podcast? I will make the Hello My Name Is uh, flyer available to you all so that you can selfie yourselves and send your pictures to me either via email or via Twitter. On a final note, I should just like to extend my best wishes from the medical imaging team to both Mark Whitterfield and his lovely wife Sally on the birth of their baby boy, uh, Ewan Richard Whitterfield, on the 24th of uh, June 2016 at 1810 weighing in at a whopping eight pound and nine ounces he looks a real cutie doesn't he anyway that is all for now good luck with the quizzes and if you want to get in touch with me just drop me an email or a tweet bye bye for now